Tim. Uh, what is your big guess for what is going to dominate Prime Minister's questions this lunchtime? Well, I think if Keir Starmer has any sense, uh, Tom, it will definitely be the inflation numbers this morning hitting 9%. I think there have been plenty of Prime Minister's question times when, understandably, the Labour leader has gone with issues that we've discussed many times together, uh, like Partygate. But I think out there, the real issue that is worrying most people is their ability to put food on the table, pay their energy bills. And Labour, you know, supposedly the party of the working people have probably neglected that issue. They have some good policies, including um, a tax on uh, energy companies, a windfall tax on energy companies, which polling in the Daily Telegraph overnight shows is actually incredibly popular with voters. And so I think if Keir Starmer is uh, trying to reconnect with those uh, fabled voters in the Red Wall in particular, he'll be talking about inflation today. It's interesting looking at that uh, call for a windfall tax, of course, a very populist policy and one that the Tory party has uh, until this point been making pretty um, economic arguments about rather than emotional arguments about. And to many people in the country, I suppose this is an emotional issue. Now, I suppose we can argue the rights or wrongs of it. The Tories, of course, saying it will deter investment. It will be bad for our transition to net zero. It will create a, an uneven playing field. But on the other hand, potentially, it's a, it's a political win, even if it's an economic hit. Yeah, I'm not even sure myself, um, Tom. I would regard myself as a Thatcherite. And Mrs Thatcher, when she first came to power, um, she introduced windfall taxes um, because sometimes markets don't work properly. Um, conservatives believe in markets, but when markets don't work properly, we make interventions, whether it's the housing market or other markets, to ensure that those markets are sort of prodded in the right direction. And I don't actually think energy companies are making sufficient investments in the future at the moment. I'm, a, I'm not a Labour supporter, but I think Labour have been ahead of the game on this one. I think they're correct. And when the uh, exchequer is needing money for things like helping to protect, particularly the poorest from this um, rising inflation, we've got inflation today at 9%. But I think most people agree that those at the bottom of the pile are probably facing an inflation rate of 11 or 12%. Their prices, the baskets of goods that uh, poorer people tend to uh, be uh, most likely to purchase, they are rising faster than the average. And so um, I take your point about the dangers of taxing generally sectors that are critical for the future of the economy. But on this occasion, a one-off tax on a sector which has done very well over the last couple of years and isn't really making the kind of investments that we would like, I think is perfectly justifiable.